How can you intuitively read or see someone else's energy? Okay, let's talk about this. I love this concept very much because I feel kind of like I have superpowers when I um, talk to other people because <laughs> I can just see their intentions, which is cool. Um, kind of heartbreaking sometimes, but other than that, it's pretty much a good time. So I really am a huge like proprietor of um, please strengthen your intuition, please develop your crown chakra and your third eye, please understand that you will be able to see the truth of all situations all the time only if you ask to see the truth you have to ask to see it okay so um we're gonna go over that in this video so how do you ask to see the truth of all situations all the time you would do this through the one that actually can see everything all the time which is source right so you have to go to source you have to be like hey source universe cosmic consciousness can you please show me what it is that you would have me see and once you say these words regarding any person situation etc say you're about to go hang out with someone you haven't seen in however long, show it, show me what it is that you'd have me see. And when you enter the hangout, when you begin hanging out with this person, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to discern very clearly the character of their soul, the quality of their soul, where it's been before, where it's going, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that is one way to do it. I don't use that method very often, but that is the most like generic way. Another way to do it is to um, constantly and regularly be very much keen on seeing the truth and i think ultimately you have to do this if you want this skill like long term so you have to develop a very keen need and um and like want to be able to know all things all of the time um and um, how you do this how you develop this need is by constant prayer so um you could ask for this indefinitely um you would have to pray for like a specific number of days at a time and you know do your worship in the morning and things like that um do arti do puja um you can pray to anyone i would um say either ganesh hanuman or vishnu um just to have this ability to see and um this is another way to go ahead and cultivate that ability of sight so um you can directly connect with you know different gods and goddesses and things like that another way <laughs> is um to actively be, this is, I think, a really simple way. Uh, well, it's not simple, but it's like, actually it's less simple than the other one that's like the more difficult one, um, but it requires um, only you and your keen insight and understanding of karma and life and everything. So the third way is um, to be an active student of life, okay? So when you are an active student of life, that is that means that you are participating in your life at all times, at all moments in time, all the time, to try to learn, hey, what could this teach me for my evolution and for the growth of my being? What can this teach me? What is this pa like pain, heartbreak, like whatever it is, I'm um, feeling like unsettled, discomfort, like uncomfortable, whatever it is. What can this teach me? Meaning, what am I doing to bring this about? Right? Because we are not powerless. To be powerless is to think that we are victims, and we are never the victim. We are never victims in any circumstance. In any circumstance, if you tell me like, "Hey, Sima, like this person, um, you know, did this to another person, like, isn't that horrible?" I'd be like, "Yes, of course," you know, and then of course I'd feel like a deep amount of empathy for both parties because both are clearly messed up, right, um, in different ways. Um, however, we must know and we must understand that some things are way bigger than us, okay? And that includes the law of karma, which is huge, okay? You will never be able to know the law of karma down to a T for any individual person's circumstance, um, for any specific thing. Again, only our creator, only the universe, only source will be able to know everything, the scope of everything. So. In this way, when we are active students of life, we are understanding that there is a greater force at play. However, we are not maybe directly trying to engage with an entity or a being of sorts, even though the universe itself is a being, right? But um, we can just say that we are not trying to contact anybody. <laughs> we are simply becoming students of life and using that to further our own physical, mental, analytical, and spiritual and emotional growth super important i say analytical as well because when you are a student of life and when you live as being a student of life 
you become very good at analyzing yourself. You, be, you get very good at introspectiveness and being alone, but with a deep focus into the inner core of your being, right? Really hard to do these days. Cause first of all, it's hard to be alone. We're always, if we're, if we're alone, we're like this. Is that being alone? I don't think so, you know? So in this way, when we understand that um, time with the self is actually really the most important thing, then we can begin to cultivate and develop it by doing either of these three things, being a student of life, connecting directly with, um, you know, greater individuals and beings that are out there, uh, you know, or directly connecting to source consciousness in the universe and saying, hey, show me what it is you'll have me see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. It was definitely a little bit different than my usual content. It is very late at night. I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a like, give me a share, comment on it, bell icon, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.